To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with the 32 volt cylinder. So this is our main central cylinder, scale it along the Z axis. Then shift A mesh and add a cylinder. And this time I will add 16 volt cylinder. Then rotate this cylinder into 90 degree and move it along the Y axis. And then scale it down in this way. Here you can see if I add the cylinder, and I will face difficulty with the vertex count. So I'm going to delete the cylinder. Shift A mesh add cylinder. And this time you will go with a 24 volt cylinder. Rotate the cylinder into 90 degree and move it along the y axis. Scale it down in this way. And this cylinder is giving me the proper vertex count. This edges and words are aligned properly. So this is the good sign. Then shift A mesh add cylinder. And this time I will go with the 16 volt cylinder. Scale it down the cylinder, rotate it into 90 degree and scale it along the X axis, then scale it down. Move the cylinder along the Z axis and adjust the scale in this way. Now select these three objects and control X and use the union boolean operation. Apply the boolean modifier and delete these cutter objects. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the X axis. Then delete one half of the model. Delete this top and bottom face. Now we need to create right topology here. First thing, create horizontal cuts. Use the knife tool and C and X create horizontal cut like this. Then here use the knife tool and C and Y and create horizontal cut in this way. Now we need to merge the words, select these words and then merge at last. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. You will get this kind of loop structure here also. You will get this kind of loop structure. Use the knife tool and create one cut here. Then create one cut here. Then one cut here and one cut here. Now select these words and merge them. And use the knife tool and create cut. Add two loop cuts here. And then connect these words. Then you need to select this edge loop. With shift select, select this edge loop with the shift select and then control B add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Give the proper bevel width and now you need to adjust the position of the words little bit. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Create one cut here. You will get this kind of triangles but that's fine. You will get even topology. Then select this cylinder, apply the scale on it. Use the insert operation and press B to avoid the border. Use the insert operation one more time and create a simple looking detail. Select this edge loop and control the add bevel on them. Then add few loop cuts here. Then select everything, mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry along the x axis. Then select this edge loop, select this edge loop, press F to fill the gap. And control B to add a bevel on it. Add one segment bevel. Then select this edge loops and control B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Select this face, use the insert operation, delete the face, select this H loop and then face grid fill. Adjust the offset and then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier and shade smooth it. You will get this kind of design.
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.